All right, tell me a little bit about yourself. What's your name? What's your rank? Hi, I am Tyronica Carter, and I am a jet setter with Paparazzi awesome. Accessories. When did you start? I started March 1st, 2015. Wow. So my question for you is, what was the struggle that you went from being a full-time teacher and kind of like progressing into going into paparazzi full-time like when did you know that you had to just put all of your energy into paparazzi right so I um, was teaching two years into my paparazzi business and by that second year um, it was a struggle because the team was growing um, my responsibilities as a teacher you know, it was very strenuous and it was a lot. Um, but, you know, that's what I tell my team all the time. We as women, we know how to jump. Yeah. You know, we have to multitask. So, you know, it was a lot. And a lot of the sacrifices I had to make was, of course, um, you know, the time for my family, um, cooking. Yeah. <laughs> you know, just cleaning stuff, all cleaning. that stuff. Oh, my yeah. gosh, we're not going to talk about that. Um, definitely. So there were sacrifices. Um, but I'm blessed with a husband who, you know, kind of understood yep. and so he was very lenient and still is today but I definitely knew that it was time to move from full-time working to doing paparazzi full-time mm -hmm. number one of course you have to have that financial stability yeah um, once my husband and I saw at least three to four consecutive yep checks that were sustainable like good checks, good checks. Yep. yeah we had a walk away amount if you do not have a walk away amount set that now because that not only the walk away amount um was let me know I could walk away, but it was something that I was shooting for. Yep. So my husband told me that when you hit this walk away amount, then you're good. You can go. Yeah. So best believe that I shot for that walk away amount, and we had to see it consecutively for three to four months. And so when we saw it, and then it continued to grow because my team was growing, and the responsibilities of me as a leader was growing as well because you want to be there for your team, um, we knew it was time to walk away. Yep. So that was a sacrifice. It was scary because I was a teacher for 15 years. Yep. Um, the unknown, feel like, feeling like you kind of throwing away your career. Yep. Um, but, you know, it, it was worth it. It was worth it. So when you started, when you were working as a teacher, why did you start with paparazzi? Like, what made you be like, you know what, I'm a teacher and now I, I think I want to sell paparazzi. <laughs> um, mine is the classic reason. I, as a teacher, I needed more money. Yep. And my goal ultimately really was to make $500 a month. Yep. I had no idea, desire to really build a team. Um, but I wasn't against it. It was just if it comes, it comes. But it was not my priority. My priority was to make money. Yep. And so um, even the genealogy report that they showed us today where you can see your um, information and stuff all the way to the very beginning. And I'm looking like, wow, my first month I had a PV of 586. Which is like awesome. Which is awesome. Yeah. It's crazy. And I'm like, I don't even remember having a yep. PV that much. But I knew what I wanted to make. And I knew that I wanted to make $500 a month. You have to have $500 worth of energy. Yeah. Exactly. And when you're actively and intentionally, I like to use that word with my team, intentionally working your business with the intent of a purpose, yep. then you're going to be successful. Exactly. Just to say something and you're not intentionally putting in strategies to get you there, it's going to be hard. You know, the entrepreneurs, as people say it. But if you are working it with that goal set in mind, you're going to reach it. When you have to have some sort of direction. Absolutely. You Absolutely. know, as a teacher, I use that kind of... Um, that that strategy where we have a student who's deficient in an area and so we say okay he's deficient in this or she is deficient in this area what is it that what strategies are we going to use to get there yep it's not enough to just say well i'm deficient in, in um recruiting okay yep. so you know you need to recruit well what are the strategies what is your steps to yep. getting there breaking you can't it down just, you have to break it down because when that's so much easier because when you have a plan instead of just saying i want to recruit and you're just floating in the air yep without a without a guide or a map so definitely make sure that you write down your goal but also write down strategies and steps you're going to do to get to that goal absolutely yes. i just want to say thank you so much <laughs> for doing you're this welcome. interview i appreciate it so much you are very welcome thank you